Assange and his well-being. I am genuinely concerned. And it seems like this story is just escaping even the alternative media. I do not see enough people talking about it. Now, I put out a video on Friday. This was late in the evening. I'm doing my homework. I'm doing research. And I'm like, damn it, something just doesn't smell right about what's going on with this silence coming from Julian Assange, you know, who's been holed up at the Ecuadorian embassy like he's in a freaking jail cell for going on almost four years. And then he gets a visit from Pamela Anderson. She gives him some kind of vegan meal. Maybe she tried to poison him. Who knows? But the silence doesn't make sense. Something is wrong. And unless Julian Assange shows himself, assume he's dead and or compromised. And again, I am genuinely concerned. We need proof of life, folks. So I put out this video. It's on Friday, late at night. It's an audio recording, an emergency, urgent message that I put out to the world October 21st, 2016. I think it gets about 20,000 views or something. Really not that much. It's like, eh, you know, we're not too interested about the fact that Julian Assange is potentially dead and or compromised and or being removed from location at the Ecuadorian embassy and or being tortured and the dead man switch is in effect. So I put out this urgent message. It always kind of amazes me. You know, I'll put out what I think are the bombshells, the most important videos, and people kind of overlook them. It's actually when I know we're closest to the darn truth. We're closest to reality. When it's kind of just rubbed off the shoulder of most people, which is why I'm making this video today, because this story, in my humble opinion, is enormous. And unless Julian Assange shows his face, assume that he is dead and or compromised. So I put out this initial warning video of which many of you watched. And if you haven't watched it yet, go back and watch the video. I'm basically saying something's wrong here, right? We need more information. Julian Assange has gone missing. We don't have any photos of him. We don't have any recent video of him. He is absolutely 110% gone dark. At the same time, by the way, he's promised Hillary Clinton bombshells. He's promised to end Hillary Clinton's campaign. And they've been leaking things like the Podesta emails. There's been dozens and dozens and thousands and thousands of emails dropped. More damaging and damning information hurting Hillary Clinton and her chances of actually winning the selection that makes up the White House on November 8th. Now the guy, the poor guy's gone missing. He's mute. We don't have any pictures of him at the Ecuadorian embassy hanging out the window. And I know some of you say, well, why would he show his face outside the window? We don't want the poor guy to be shot. That's why he's not coming out on the balcony, even though he said in his list, last press conference that he would, and then he reneged on that, and then he went up like a, a video link. I think it was in Berlin or something like that. I get that. But give us something, folks. Give us a pre-recorded video. Give us an image. Give us a verifiable tweet. Show your face, Julian Assange. You know, next to a newspaper, today's actual newspaper. Now, even if we get an image, that still doesn't mean that he's not potentially compromised, that he's not potentially being tortured right now, that he's not potentially being removed from location. Notice, around the same time, there was an alleged chemical attack at the London, I believe, International Airport. Also kind of mysterious. I mean, they could just dress him up in disguise, like they did with Edward Snowden, for example, as they were, you know, moving him into Russian KGB hands. They could just make it look inconsequential, dress him up in a costume, dress him up in disguise, have a normal vehicle pull up or a taxi, and they could remove him that way. I mean, something is going on, and I'm raising the alarm bells. And I'm going to get to the evidence in a chronicling of the dates, verifiable dates of all these tweets, erroneous messages, questions, which has only raised more and more suspicion. So I put out the first video. It was the first I had seen anyone talking about it or raising the issue on October 21st on Friday gets a little bit of traction because again it's not even mainstream and alternative media yet right I just put it out it's a warning something's wrong I don't feel good about this somebody's got to speak up for Julian Assange who by the way is releasing more and more damaging information on Hillary Clinton a scumbag and a criminal 
that we know would more than likely have this guy taken out. Right? So I issue the warning. The following day, WikiLeaks tweets. And take a look at this. They tweet on October 22nd, we will release a statement tomorrow about Assange. Our editor is safe and still in full command despite reduced communications with staff. Great, prove it. Prove it. A day later, after I post my emergency urgent message video, they come out with that tweet. So somebody must be listening. In fact, I encourage you right now, like, share, favorite this video, and more importantly, while you're doing that, tweet it to WikiLeaks. It's in the title. So if you tweet it at WikiLeaks, they're going to get it. They're obviously listening. The initial video game gets like 20,000 views, but something must be up here. Something doesn't smell right. And if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it must be a freaking duck. Again, unless we get proof of life of Julian Assange, assume he is dead and or compromised at this very moment. So they say he's gonna really, they're going to release a statement. I'm like, goody. I think I even retweeted. Goody, we're going to get a statement. We're going to get proof of life. Thank God. Thank God. So what do they give us? Not much. Not much. The following day, well, on Monday, October 24th, they give us this. Another tweet. WikiLeaks editorial board statement on the status of Julian Assange, Ecuador and the U.S. election. On Tuesday, the government of Ecuador issued a statement saying that it decided to not permit Mr. Assange to use the government of Ecuador's internet connection during the U.S. election, citing its policy of non-interference. So remember, they cut, they cut the internet, right? This is the same time Julian Assange goes missing. It's been nine days since that event, going on ten days, where he's been utterly mute. It continues. Ecuador's statement, so we know Ecuador has been pressured, more than likely by the Hillary Clinton campaign, the U.S. government, and for some reason, they've cut them off. They've been holding them up and protecting them for all these years, four freaking years, without sunlight, without proper medical care. He's essentially in a freaking prison, but now they decide to turn off the lights. Ecuador's statement also clarified that it does not seek to interfere with WikiLeaks's journalistic work and that it would continue to protect Mr. Assange's asylum rights. Mr. Assange has asylum at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London, where the United Nations has ruled he has been unlawfully deprived of liberty by the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Sweden for the last six years. He has not been charged. It is important the government of Ecuador's prerogative to decide how the, to best guard against the misinterpretation of its policies by media groups or states, whilst ensuring that it protects Mr. Assange's human rights. WikiLeaks is a global, high-volume publisher that publishes on average one million documents and associated analysis says a year. WikiLeaks publishes its journalistic work from large data centers based in France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Norway, among others. I'm going to continue because all of this is important. Most WikiLeaks staff and lawyers reside in the EU or the U.S. and have not been disrupted. WikiLeaks has never been published from jurisdiction of Ecuador and has no plans to do so. Similarly, Mr. Assange does not transmit U.S. election-related documents from the embassy. WikiLeaks is entirely funded by its readers, you, book and film sales. Its publications are the result of its significant investigative and technological capacities. WikiLeaks has a perfect, which is kind of interesting, I don't know how anyone has a perfect track record, but I guess they do, decade-long record for publishing only true documents. It has many thousands of sources, but does not engage in collaborations with states. Mr. Assange has not endorsed any candidate although he was happy to speak at the Greens convention due to Dr. Jill Stein's position on whistleblowers, peace, and war. So this is the statement, although it was kind of just pushed under the rug because I was looking on Monday and I had to dig to find this statement. That's the statement they give. They give us a statement, but they don't give us proof of life. They're just like, believe us, he's fine, but we're not going to show an image with a newspaper. We're not going to give you a video that he's pre-recorded so that he can tell you he's okay. We're not going to give you anything, but here's our statement. It's official, and everything must be okay. Well, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Prove it, WikiLeaks. If he's alive, show us. Show us. You know, I'm very suspicious, and I think it's likely that the dead man switch has already been activated through a series of very specific steps. Julian Assange is smart. A few days go by. 
things are activated. A few more weeks, a week goes by, things are activated. A few more weeks go by, more and more is activated. A month go, goes by, more is activated. Activated. A year goes by, all the bombshells freaking hit. Everything. I mean, he has an algorithmic-based system around if something's wrong and he can't show his face, which is exactly what we've got right now, the only other idea is that it's some kind of publicity stunt or something to draw attention on him, which there's a possibility, but I don't think that's likely. I think something is wrong. I think Julian Assange is either dead and or compromised until and unless we get proof of life. So give us something at WikiLeaks. Give us some darn proof. It's very, very reasonable. And as far as I know, and I'm sure there was other people asking questions, we were the first here at Alternative Media Television putting out a video saying, warning, urgent message, something is wrong. And again, I've got a lot of respect for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and what the organization does. So prove that he's alive. Otherwise, I assume you've been compromised and Julian Assange has been compromised. It continues. And a lot of people think and thought at the time, well, this must mean that Julian Assange is okay. WikiLeaks have been putting out all these strange tweets uncharacteristic of what they normally did when Julian Assange was actually speaking and he hadn't disappeared. Well, they put out a tweet by Michael Moore on October 23rd, just a day or two after I say we need proof that Julian Assange is alive, of Michael Moore saying he just walked out of the embassy and spoken with Julian Assange and then gives a host of reasons, you know, why the detention of WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange is wrong. And people just take that verbatim. They're like, oh, well, Michael Moore was there on, what was it, October 23rd, so everything must be okay, right? Watch the video. Hi, this is uh, Michael Moore. I'm standing here outside the uh, Ecuadorian embassy uh, where inside that Julian Assange has uh, been under siege, seeking asylum for nearly four years now, be four years next week. And um, I just came out from visiting him for a couple of hours. And uh, I have to say, this is absolute madness that this individual who was responsible for um, informing us, the American people, of the lies that our government told us. Things we never would have known had not WikiLeaks put the truth out there. And and he has been forced, he's been holed up in this embassy here. This is not an apartment building. This is a tiny little office uh, on one little part of this one floor in this building. And it's, um, it's just wrong, it's shameful, we're Americans. We don't believe in, in captivity of anyone, right? Without charges or trial or, the man hasn't been charged with anything. He can't come out of here because if he, if he does, the UK or if he goes back to Sweden, they're going to uh, deport him to the US. And okay, so everything must be okay, right? 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 I mean, we've got a post here, courtesy of WikiLeaks, giving us alleged proof of life, even though they won't show his face. And it was posted on October 23rd. Everything must be okay. Did Michael Moore not just say he met with Julian Assange? Wrong. Just a little basic investigative homework to first thought popped in my mind. When was this video recorded? Hmm, was it actually recorded on October 23rd? Or could it potentially have been recorded at a different time, but made to look like it was happening on October 23rd? I mean, this is really basic investigative journalism here. So all I do is I go to uh, fat ass Michael Moore's uh, fan page on Facebook over at MM Flint, at MM Flint, and pull up his recent videos and specifically that video, and check the date. And guess what I find, folks? A different date. His original video was posted on June 9th, months ago. Months ago. Let me repeat that. Months ago. June 9th. He didn't just run into Julian Assange 
on October 23rd and make that video, as is WikiLeaks made it appear. Show a picture with the newspaper, show a video, give us something. Otherwise, assume J.A. Julian Assange is dead and or compromised. Another tweet. WikiLeaks, October 23rd. They continue. Thousands keep demanding Assange proof of life. Not unreasonable. He's in a tough spot and is WikiLeaks' best known validator. Preference? They do a poll. What would you like to see? We can give you a picture, they say. They can give you a video, a statement by his lawyers, and or an appearance at a window. So they specifically address the questions I'm asking right now and give us just a lousy poll. Zero evidence, zero concrete proof, but a poll. And they don't tell us anything about when that original video by Michael Moore, Mr. Fat Ass himself, uh, was taken, right? They don't mention that at all. They just make it look, because they know most of you won't look and check the dates. Just basic investigative journalism. When the poll was conducted, and I actually voted on it, I voted for video. That's probably the best proof of life, although he could still be compromised. I mean, they could just have him fake a video or something. I mean, here, here's a camera. We're going to kill you unless you make a video and say everything's okay and try to put a fake smile on. I think actually Julian Assange is smarter than that, though. If they put him on camera, he would have some kind of sign or have some kind of way to communicate with the decentralized network that makes up WikiLeaks to let him, them know that he's been compromised. Same thing with the dead man switch. I mean, if he was really being tortured, he probably has a series of steps where he would leak out, you know, the first series of documents, which maybe was a warning. And then he would leak, leak out another set and another set. There's probably stages to all this. 51% say they would like to see a video. 8% say they'd like to see a picture. 6% say statement by his lawyers, and 35% say an appearance at the window. And it's just unbelievable. That's all we get. Totally lousy, zero proof of life. In addition to that, strangely enough, and mysteriously enough, Gavin McFadden, beloved WikiLeaks director and mentor to many investigative journalists, suddenly dies. He croaks. <laughs> Maybe uh, he shot himself in the back of the head multiple times. He winds up dead also on October 22nd, a day after I start asking these questions. Here's a photo with uh, McFadden, with Julian Assange. This is Gavin McFadden, beloved WikiLeaks director and mentor to many investigative journalists who died yesterday. So this guy dies, which could be another signal or sign that something is wrong. Another tweet. Gavin McFadden, beloved director of WikiLeaks, this was the original one, now takes his fists in his fight to battle God. Sock it to him forever, Gavin. J.A. It's as if J.A. is actually, you know, commenting on this. So he dies. Julian Assange, there's no proof of life. And one of their higher-ups croaks. I did look into some basic research here on Gavin, just who he, who he was, where he was born, you know, how old he was when he died. He, he's dead at 76. So he was a little bit older. It's not like he was 50 or something where it'd be like, you know, what, how would you just suddenly, you know, die at, you know, 50 years old? He was 76, winds up dead. More conspiracy. More suspicion. More mystery. Another tweet. This was the original tweet put out since Julian Assange has gone missing, which has been a total of nine days since his internet was cut, more than likely pressured by the Hillary Clinton rotten, scumbag, criminal campaign, crime fam. Julian Assange's internet link has been intentionally severed by a state party. This is from WikiLeaks. We have activated the appropriate contingency plans. This was originally documented and tweeted October 16th at 10.33 p.m. It was retweeted 42,000 times, liked 46,000 times. They say Julian Assange's internet link has been intentionally severed by a state party. Hmm, I wonder who that is. I wonder who would have motive to do that. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. 
we have activated the appropriate contingency plans. Since then, Julian Assange has been completely missing. Zero proof that he's alive. Zero proof that he hasn't been compromised. Zero proof that he's not being tortured at this very moment. Zero proof that the dead man switch hasn't already been activated and that the WikiLeaks Twitter account has already been compromised and is being controlled by U.S. intelligence agencies and or somebody else. Again, until you prove that Julian Assange is alive through at least one of the bullshit survey items that you gave us, WikiLeaks, we assume he's dead. We assume that the proper contingency plans are moving forward and the dead man switch has been activated. You know, if I was Julian Assange, I would want someone speaking up for me, raising the alarm bells, asking very basic, legitimate questions. Give us proof of life. Also, on Friday, a report that we did, WikiLeaks put out, very strangely, this is when the internet blackout occurred, and much of the East Coast in a rolling wave of blackouts moved from east to west across the United States, knocking out internet through a DDoS or DDoS attack, hitting parts like Texas, moving all the way to the West Coast, Silicon Valley, and the western northern seaboard of the United States of America. They put out this strange tweet. Mr. Assange is still alive, and WikiLeaks is still publishing. We ask supporters to stop taking down the U.S. Internet. You proved your point. They say right there that their supporters are the ones that have taken down the internet. Very strange. Donald Trump even actually weighs in on this. He says, wow, at WikiLeaks admits its supporters are engaged in anti-American cyber terrorism. Actually, that's, that's, a, that's pretty funny. I just noticed that. that's a fake account. It says real Donald Trump. So that's bullshit. Again, just basic journalism, basic fact checking. So ignore that tweet there, which is the highest ranking, one of the highest ranking tweets on this. Why would WikiLeaks suggest it's J.A., Julian Assange, and WikiLeaks supporters that would bring down the Internet? Very, very strange. Again, folks, proof of life. I'm going live. This is live right now, October 25th, Tuesday. It's, uh, of course, the year 2016. Those of you tuning in, it is 12.37 p.m. Arizona Pacific time. Let's go to WikiLeaks' Twitter account right now and see if there's been any updates. We are loading now. You can do this along with me. Searching WikiLeaks. And if you haven't already, please share, like, favorite, and tweet this video to WikiLeaks. It's in the title. All you have to do is like, comment, share, get it out. These questions need to be answered. So I'm now at the front page of WikiLeaks' Twitter. I see a pinned tweet, a list of the more than 3,000 attachments released so far by the Podesta email dump, which obviously was extremely damaging and has been extremely damaging to Hillary Clinton, just providing more motive to get rid of J.A. and silence J.A. I see five hours ago released the Podesta emails part 18, Reddit exposes Hillary Clinton linked front company, trying to frame Assange as a pedophile. Uh, they retweet the Young Turks. On and on. Still no proof of life. Not a gosh darn thing. Not a picture with a newspaper. Not a video. Not a statement from his lawyers. Absolutely nothing. Zilch. So, again, folks, I will just emphasize... As we conduct this video live, Tuesday, October 25th, this is a warning. Prove Julian Assange is alive. Otherwise, myself and the community at large and the millions of us tuning in around the world will assume Julian Assange is dead and or compromised. Again, folks, this should be a, a viral video. This video should explode. Nobody has the balls to ask these questions. I'm asking them because if I was J.A., I would want somebody asking them on my behalf. 
with the same passion, the same vigor, and with the same demands. I am asking you now to share this everywhere. Get it on Reddit, tweet it, put it on Facebook. You have my permission to rip this video and post it on your own YouTube channels. Get it out everywhere. And more importantly, tweet at WikiLeaks. Proof of life. We need proof of life. And until we have that, assume the worst. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting and in your face. And click the link below to like, share, and get this video out around the world. Peace. Yeah, you know, we're not too interested about the fact that Julian Assange is potentially dead and or compromised and or being removed from location at the Ecuadorian embassy and or being tortured in the dead man switch is in effect. So I put out this urgent message. It always kind of amazes me. You know, I'll put out what I think are the bombshells, the most important videos, and people kind of overlook them. It's actually when I know we're closest to the darn truth. We're closest to reality when it's kind of just rubbed off the shoulder of most people, which is why I'm making this video today. Because this story, in my humble opinion, is enormous. And unless Julian Assange shows his face, assume that he is dead and or compromised. So I put out this initial warning video, of which many of you watched. And if you haven't watched it yet, go back and watch the video. I'm basically saying something's wrong here, right? We need more information. Julian Assange has gone missing. We don't have any photos of him. We don't have any recent video of him. He is absolutely 110% gone dark. At the same time, by the way, he's promised Hillary Clinton bombshells. He's promised to end Hillary Eighth and still in full command despite reduced communications with staff. Great, prove it. Prove it. A day later, after I post my emergency urgent message video, they come out with that tweet. So somebody must be listening. In fact, I encourage you right now, like, share, favorite this video, and more importantly, while you're doing that, tweet it to WikiLeaks. It's in the title. So if you tweet it at WikiLeaks, they're going to get it. They're obviously listening. The initial video game gets like 20,000 views, but something must be up here. Something doesn't smell right. And if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it must be a freaking duck. Again, unless we get proof of life of Julian Assange, assume he is dead and or compromised at this very moment. So they say he's gonna really, they're going to release a statement. I'm like, goody. I think I even retweeted. Goody. We're going to get a statement. We're going to get proof of life. Thank God. Thank God. So what do they give us? Not much. Not much. The following day... Well, on Monday, October 24th, they give us this. Another tweet. WikiLeaks editorial Clinton's campaign. And they've been leaking things like the Podesta emails. There's been dozens and dozens and thousands and thousands of emails dropped. More damaging and damning information hurting Hillary Clinton and her chances of actually winning the selection that makes up the White House on November 8th. Now the guy, the poor guy's gone missing. He's mute. We don't have any pictures of him at the Ecuadorian embassy hanging out the window. And I know some of you say, well, why would he show his face outside the window? We don't want the poor guy to be shot. That's why he's not coming out on the balcony, even though he said in his last press conference that he would. And then he reneged on that. And then he went up like a, a video link. I think it was in Berlin or something like that. I get that. But give us something, folks. Give us a pre-recorded video. Give us an image. Give us a verifiable Tweet. Show your face, Julian Assange. You know, next to a newspaper, today's actual newspaper. Now, even if we get an image, that still doesn't mean that he's not potentially compromised, that he's not potentially being tortured right now, that he's not potentially being removed from location. Notice, around the same time, there was an alleged chemical attack at the London, I believe, International Airport. Also kind of mysterious. I mean, they could just dress him up in disguise, like they did with Edward Snowden, for example, as they were, you know, moving him into Russian KGB hands. They could just make it look inconsequential, dress him up 
in a costume, dress him up in disguise, have a normal vehicle pull up or a taxi, and they could remove him that way. I mean, something is going on, and I'm raising the alarm bells. And I'm going to get to the evidence in a chronicling of the dates, verifiable dates, of all these tweets, erroneous messages, questions, which has only raised more and more suspicion. So I put out the first video. It was the first I had seen anyone talking about it or raising the issue. On October 21st, on Friday, gets a little bit of traction because, again, it's not even mainstream and alternative media yet. Right? I just put it out. It's a warning. Something's wrong. I don't feel good about this. Somebody's got to speak up for Julian Assange, who, by the way, is releasing more and more damaging information on Hillary Clinton, a scumbag and a criminal that we know would more than likely have this guy taken out. Right? So I issued the warning. The following day, WikiLeaks tweets. And take a look at this. They tweet on October 22nd, we will release a statement tomorrow about Assange. Our editor is saying Assange and his well-being. I am genuinely concerned. And it seems like this story is just escaping even the alternative media. I do not see enough people talking about it. Now, I put out a video on Friday. This was late in the evening. I'm doing my homework. I'm doing research. And I'm like, damn it, something just doesn't smell right about what's going on with this silence coming from Julian Assange, you know, who's been holed up at the Ecuadorian embassy like he's in a freaking jail cell for going on almost four years. And then he gets a visit from Pamela Anderson. She gives him some kind of vegan meal. Maybe she tried to poison him. Who knows? But the silence doesn't make sense. Something is wrong. And unless Julian Assange shows himself, assume he's dead and or compromised. And again, I am genuinely concerned. We need proof of life, folks. So I put out this video. It's on Friday, late at night. It's an audio recording, an emergency, urgent message that I put out to the world. October 21st. 2016. I think it gets about 20,000 views or something. Really not that much. It's like, 